Yes, look who's back with us, Republican House Majority Whip. He's Tom Emmer. The congressman also is on House Financial Services. What do you make of Joe Manchin saying he's going to leave the de He's absolutely has thought about leaving the Democrat Party, and he's, ma he's making fun of the Inflation Reduction Act. Yeah, well, remember, he was the uh, he was the one of the great hopes that America had to stopping that uh, inflation bursting boondoggle. Uh, that was the Inflation Expansion Act is what it should have been called. And remember, he is one of the ones that was uh, against it. And he ultimately ended up voting for it. And now he's going to try and look back and say, this is terrible, shouldn't have happened. Uh, and he just, Joe Manchin, he, he, you can't rely on him. Okay, well, that's the word on that. Now this, what are Republicans going to do about inflation, Tom? I mean, we've got the Republican debates coming up. Inflation's heading the wrong direction. Yeah, it came in less than expected, 3.2, but it's now trending back up. So how are Republicans going to stop 17% compounded cumulative inflation under Biden? Well, it's a great question, and it's one that we've been answering for the last seven months. But first, I, I know that the CPI today said it's uh, it increased about 3.2 percent. It's not been tamed. You got all these stories that are being spun. Uh, Liz, bottom line is, since Joe Biden took office, we are uh, inflation. We've seen a 17 percent increase in prices and a 3 percent decrease in wages. Uh, Seventy percent of Americans tell you that they can't keep up with inflation when it comes to the sticker shock they're seeing at the grocery store and at the gas pump. And what is this president doing? He's going out and touting this is Bidenomics. Uh, this is what's causing the problem. I mean, think about it, Liz. You've got Americans who are doing whatever they can to stay afloat. We now have one trillion dollars in American credit card debt. First time ever in our history. Look, Republicans have been talking about this since the beginning of the year. We've not only been talking about how you got to control spending because spending is what drove this thing. They flooded the marketplace with dollars, but they also attacked energy. And all of the above energy policy is what this country needs to make sure that we can uh, our, our entire economy is based on uh, having abundant, efficient and affordable energy from all different sources. And this administration has been killing uh, a sector of the energy industry for the last two years. Uh, Republicans passed a bill that would deal with that, with permitting reform, with uh, making sure that we could uh, access uh, necessary energy resources all across the country so we could restore American energy independence, which is what this uh, this administration has destroyed. So yeah. those two things, you control the spending, you deal with the uh, energy costs, uh, and you will start to see inflation come under control. I mean, this is political strychnine, right? It's stagflation. Um, you know, I don't know why the president is touring the country saying, as Andy Puzzer points out, Thank you. Thank me for Bidenomics. That's the definition of insanity. And nothing hollers inflation being right in your face. And when you fill up the gas tank, it's at around more than 70 bucks. It's not hard to understand while re why recent polling showing Americans are saying no to Bidenomics. And they're saying, you know, he wants four more years, but the U.S. is going in the wrong direction. But what are you going to do to help middle class incomes not keeping up with middle class lifestyles? What's the Republican plan? We hear about U.S. energy, totally understand it. How are you going to bring pr prosperity back into the U.S. economy? We're flatlining at 2.4 percent growth. That's about half of the growth rate, 3 to 4 percent we've enjoyed since on average since World War II. Yeah, and the part of it, Liz, is the uh, the growth rate that you're talking about, that 2.4 percent. You can't get an answer out of the administration as to how to quantify how much of that is private sector growth versus how much of that is government growth, because they, they include both in it. So the 2.4 might even be misleading when you talk about Main Street businesses across this country. Republicans have had this answer. We talked about the energy. We talked about getting uh, spending under control. But the other thing you got to do is you got to free up these entrepreneurs by allowing them to keep more of their hard-earned dollars, giving them certainty in the economy on what to expect so that they want to start new businesses on Main Street across this country because small business is tomorrow's big business. It is the backbone of the U.S. economy. And right now, those entrepreneurs are not getting a green light from this administration. In fact, they're getting just the opposite. And the president traveling around and uh, uh, trying to sell Bidenomics, it's either uh, he is absolutely ignorant of the fact that he has caused a 17 percent increase in prices and a three percent decrease in wages over the course of his uh, his uh, term uh, or 
he knows it and hits an outright lie, Liz. You know, he's not talking about how he's going to celebrate the anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act, not talking about how that act has paid for 87,000 new IRS workers and new IRS agents to go after those small businesses. It's the one year anniversary of the act next week. What are the Republicans going to do to counter message against that, against the anniversary well, celebration? I, 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 he well, the anniversary celebration, the beauty of it is I think Americans are smarter than this administration gives them credit for. I think Americans understand that what this administration has done is everything the wrong way, and they have fueled this runaway inflation. They fueled the, uh, frankly, people who are worried about the future. Uh, if you look at a recent CNN poll, Liz, it says that uh, the public trusts Republicans in the House to handle the, the most serious uh, issues facing our country more than Joe Biden. Uh, really, it's going to be making sure that uh, we continue to tell people. Yeah, but I got to say this. We got to jump in. I got it. I, I understand. But, you know, the, yeah. mess the Republican messaging is not getting out there. You know, we've talked to voters. We've talked to people as much as we can about how Republicans are going to push back on this agenda that has basically flatlined U.S. Growth and, and growth and paralyzed a lot of small businesses. We just came out of a pandemic shutdown a couple of years ago, and then there's an x-ray blanket of the government put on top of the U.S. economy by this Biden White House. So, you know, it just feels kind of anemic messaging out of the Republicans. You know, we're going to hold people accountable. We're going to get to the bottom of things. You know, there's corruption in the Biden family scandals. We're going to get to that in a moment. But, you know, it just seems like the messaging is kind of bereft here for the Republican Party. Well, I, I would argue that maybe that is for the Republican Party, but from the Republican House, uh, it's very clear that the public is looking for people who will lead and who will govern. The Republican House in the first seven months has been passing legislation to address all of these concerns. And quite frankly, we've been dragging the administration in some cases along with us. It just isn't there yet where these Democrats will acknowledge that they have completely crashed this economy and that their policies are destroying one of the best economies economies on the face of the planet. Uh, as soon as they get to realize that is the issue, then they'll start coming along with us and we can we can move. But I would argue, Liz, that we are giving the message by uh, showing that we can govern. Uh, and the question is going to be, uh, when are Americans going to stand up and say we've had enough of this? Majority Whip Tom Emmer, come back soon. Love having you on the show. And Thanks. look who's back with us now. Former